Well, good Taco Tuesday, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is less than four hours to the NFL trade deadline. Um, we're going to see what we're going to see. We're actually going to go live here probably an hour or two before the deadline to see if the Cowboys actually do something uh, at the moment. We know um, Jalen Johnson, the standout cornerback from the Chicago Bears. The Bears are shopping around. As far as we know, uh, the Cowboys are not into the mix of that. We don't know about anything else at the moment, but we do have some interesting news. Um, I don't know if you've heard about Kenneth Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell, apparently during halftime, being down to the left hand up commanders, was responding to hecklers on his phone during halftime. Philadelphia coach Nick Sirianni told reporters on Monday that the team spoke with running back Kenneth Gainwell um, about his uh, responding to an online heckler at halftime during Sunday's win over the Washington Commanders. Of course, we talked to Kenny about that, he said, about being locked in and focused and not to respond. So what we had was uh, this is what the interaction was. Hold on to the football, you bum. Little boy, in his response, little boy, don't text me. Get off your phone. Just use some glues. I'm trying to win it all. Keep grinding, though. And we now know who that heckler is. We know because we know how Philly 500 feels about Kenneth Gainwell. He can't stand Kenneth Gainwell. Let me give you a little taste of what Philly 500 has done. Slid and he went head first at him. That's a penalty. Why did he call a penalty? First and 10. Gainwell's still in the field. That should be a pen. That should be a personal foul. Mother humping bullshit. First and 10 at the 42. Hurts. Back to pass, looking, looking, throws. He gets hit as he throws, intercepted. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because guess who's on the field? Guess who's on the field? Kenneth fucking Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell sucks. I, it's Gainwell's fault. So Gainwell's fault. Get him off the field. Gainwell. Get his ass off the field so we can score some points. Every time he's on the field, we don't do shit. Gainwell just, what is he doing? He's just standing there picking his ass. With a weather up my ass today. Oh, some corn. It's a, oh, look, an undigested tomato. What is he doing? God, I can't stand this Gainwell shit. You put Gainwell out in the field. Are you kidding me? Plus, they should have called the pen as a person foul. Yeah. Philly 500 busted going after Kenneth Gainwell. And all um, jokes aside, Here's the reality of it, because there's always going to be trolls out. There's always going to be people out there that are going to hate you and that are always going to try to rile you up. The reality is, is, is this. You cannot respond because the problem is now that Kenneth Gainwell has responded during a game, during a game, not just during a game, during a game in which you are losing to the left hand up who are we the commanders you know that's a can of worms that you've opened up now the hecklers know they can get to you now they know they can get their five minutes of fame by getting under your skin so you definitely messed up by responding to him you know it was kind of interesting because i was listening i was coming down the road i had to go i've just driven 300 miles so i'm just still trying to wake back up from the drive trucker's life i don't know how you do it bro i don't know how you do it uh you know five six hundred miles eight hundred miles every day but man 
But listening to Keyshawn Johnson, and Keyshawn was 100% right about this. Keyshawn put it, it's like, you know, he said, I don't care if it's Joe the fan or even some of these reporters out here. <clears throat> until you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> until you have been on the field and you can do what I do, I don't give a rat's ass about what you have to say about it. He said, do you think it's easy to be out here taking hits from these guys, catching a ball where you're about to get jacked up by like a Steve Atwater? And that reminds me of how, you know, all these people always talk about, you know, well, Dak Prescott's a bum, man. How did he miss a guy wide open? And it takes me back, and I hate to throw DMV under the bus here, but it takes me back to the draft. And at the draft, you got the NFL Village, which is all set up real nice and everything. And they have uh, the deep paw set up. This is a new one. I hadn't seen this one before. The deep pass. And on this, they have at about 10 yards, 20 yards, and 30 yards, which 30 yards is really not that deep a pass. They have basically a net set up there and a bucket, slight angle, so you can kind of loft it in there, where you're supposed to hit the deep ball. I would say one in 20 hit the 10 yarder. I did not see the whole time anybody close on the 30 yarder. So when you're out here talking about these guys and saying they suck, get them off the field, you know, and all that, you know, literally land based in these guys, you're not even anywhere close to their level. You couldn't do what they do. So why not try giving them a break? Okay. And Philly, ease up on Gainwell, man. Ease up. Slid and he went head first at him. That's a penalty. Why did he call a penalty? That should be a pen, that should be a personal foul. Mother humping bullshit. First and ten at the 42. Hurts. Back to pass. Looking, looking, throws. He gets hit as he throws, intercepted. You know why? I'll tell you why. Cause guess who's on the field? Guess who's on the field? Kenneth fucking Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell sucks. I it's Gainwell's fault. It's all Gainwell's fault. Get him off the field. Fucking Gainwell. Get his ass off the field so we can score some points. Every time he's on the field, we don't do shit. Gainwell just, what is he doing? He's just standing there picking his ass. With the weather up my ass today. Oh, it's cool. And it's a, oh, look, an undigested tomato. What is he doing? God, I can't stand this game shit. You put Gainwell out in the field. Are you kidding me? Plus, they should have called the pen. It was a person found. 